Hey guys, welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and this time we're joined by Josh Thomas from the BitBlock to discuss a recent rumor about the real life Nintendo Land. So let's get started. Alright, Josh, you've already talked a lot about the uh, deal Nintendo announced with Universal Studios and to, to make an immersive themed Nintendo Land. But there is a rumor that came out recently from a website called This Is Infamous, which suggests this could be a little bit bigger than we initially thought. Okay. So a lot of people have been wondering, um, you know, where exactly Nintendo Land's going to go. And a lot of people were speculating it could go in the kid zone at Universal Studios. So this new rumor, though, is suggesting uh, a far bigger uh, area for it, because it is, it is putting out there that Universal is looking at opening a third gate, a third theme park, in addition to Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios Florida. And they're saying it could be based around video games, with Nintendo, of course, having a major influence there. But in addition, so would potentially other video game properties, and they name drop World of Warcraft, which, of course, is a pretty big property. So what do you think about this, Josh? So I actually, you linked me to this, and I purposely didn't look at it so I could get my reaction on this discussion. Uh, it's pretty crazy where would they be opening this would it be connected to the other parks because they don't have room to do that so that is a big question right because universal has been pretty landlocked um but there has been uh rumors going around that the, the universal has been buying up additional land because if you as a lot of people might recall um universal actually owned a lot more land like when they first built universal studios uh, which they then sold off when they ran into some financial difficulties in the i think early 2000s um, but apparently a lot of the land is still undeveloped. So rumor is that Universal has been buying back that land which they could use for further development. Um, then there's a the fact that they also have, uh, uh, what is it, Wet and Wild, that they're shutting down next year. And that'll open up some land for them too if they don't develop it into hotels or something. Um, so apparently there is land. And the fact there is, um, there was a rumor going around, or a rumor I was reading on the Disney World forum I go to, that came out about a month ago from an insider, supposedly. And they were saying that uh, Universal is in fact opening up a third park. Uh, they didn't specify what it would be, but they did say it would be of Disney Sea Caliber, which is um, in Tokyo Disneyland, which a lot of people consider to be Disney's best park. So if that is of that caliber, like this, this would be insane. It makes a ton of sense for Universal if they're trying to compete at Disney World, which is a gigantic property with four theme parks. I mean, yeah, a whole theme park for video game related stuff, that would be massive, obviously. Uh, I hope right? Nintendo would have the biggest uh, footprint in it. I hope Nintendo would be the, like, star of that area. I can't imagine what they would use outside of, like, you said World of Warcraft? Yeah, World of Warcraft is the other rumored property, which kind of makes sense given, you know, if this is true, uh, given that Universal Studios is actually uh, distributing the World of Warcraft movie, or the Warcraft movie. I didn't even know there was going to be a movie, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really follow Warcraft either, but it is a gigantic property. And that combined with Nintendo's properties alone, this could be a huge park. I mean, not in terms of space, but in terms of uh, getting attention. And that's not even to speak of other properties that might loop in here, too. So speaking of which, um, I do think this makes sense uh, within the context of having a theme park built around video games. Because Universal Studios, uh, the park itself, you know, their mantra has always been Ride the Movies. And uh, Nintendo games aren't really movies. But, for the record, the Rip Ride Rocket Roller Coaster ain't got nothing to do with movies either, <laughs> and that's there. That's a good point, that is true, right? And, and most of Universal's newer attractions aren't so much Ride the Movies as Watch the Movies in front of you on a screen <laughs> while the ride moves. It's not really Ride the wow. Movies anymore. Um, I, I guess the reason this is so exciting is because it will give them so much more land to deal with. Because if, it is, if they're just dealing with an area the size of the kid zone, I mean, that's not a ton of room to work with. Even if they do expand it, like, it'd be pretty landlocked. Um, whereas if they're actually making a theme park uh, based around video games, like they could ha Nintendo could be a huge presence there, and I imagine it would, and it would give them a you know a room for further expansion. So instead of just getting like one or two of the rides, we could get far more down the line. Um, in fact, in this rumor specifically mentions they heard there's going to be a Mario Kart ride, and in addition there could be Pokemon and Zelda rides as well. Okay, all those make sense. Right? Seems pretty obvious, yeah. Those are kind of their biggest ones. Although the Mario Kart one is a little bit weird to me. Um, because that's not, you know, that you would think they'd be making a Mario-specific ride. And I don't know if Mario Kart's the best choice to represent that. Seems like it's a little bit obvious. That's the main thing <laughs> everybody so? was talking about. Yeah, well, because everybody's like, oh, a Mario Kart ride. I think there would be, like, my idea would be, I would assume they would make, like, a Mario attraction. Like, based off right. of the actual, like, 2D and 3D kind of games. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, one of the things that troubles me is if this is true, that is going to mean that basically this is going to take like 
freaking five to eight years to make. <laughs> like this a create what creating a theme park attraction is one thing, but creating a theme park yeah, that is a way else. bigger undertaking and that could take forever to make. I mean, they've been working on like Disneyland Shanghai for years now. It's gone through multiple delays as well, and it's finally opening next year, I believe. Mm. Um, if it's not further delayed. And you look even look at Avatar Land even coming to Disney World. They announced that, like, what, five years ago? And that's not opening up for another two years, I think. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, building a whole theme park is not going to be an easy thing. But, to Universal's credit, they are pretty fast on, you know, when it comes to building things. So maybe they could crank this out in a relatively short time at theme park standards. Yeah, I mean, they, you're right. They are pretty quick these days with making things. Um, but still, like, this is a big project to make a it whole is. theme park around it because then you've got, like, obviously copyright things and you don't know one of the properties might be causing trouble, so that delays it and, and all sorts of stuff. So, I, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I almost feel like, no, 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 just keep it at Universal. Don't make another theme park, which seems ridiculous. But uh, I want to be on the Mario ride as soon as possible. Like, I don't want to <laughs> wait five to ten years to do this. That's true. But by the same token, I want them to do it right. So if they can do it more right by building a whole new park for it, I'm totally on board. But getting to what you were saying though, about riding it sooner, there is another aspect of this rumor, and that's they were they were suggesting they could actually distribute the Nintendo properties across different theme parks. So it could start off at Universal Studios, and then they could expand it to this third park, much like they have done with Harry Potter, for instance. But if they do that, I don't know, that'd be weird to me, right? Like, if you have, like, a mini Nintendo Land Universal Studios and a much bigger Nintendo Land in this third park, I don't know. I think you're underestimating the size of that Kids Zone area, though. That's pretty... There's even area that isn't being used by Kids Zone, like, behind it. Universal has, like, a lot of, like, trailers that they just barely use behind there. Like, just a lot of land that's not used. So if they use that, that could actually be pretty big for, like two rides and then a lot of gift shops and stuff like that and character well they greets. can take over et as well right no they, they can't <laughs> et is amazing it's a classic and no they well, so was jaws right well listen I, that's that's a wound that is still very <laughs> raw let me just point that out no i mean no you're right it's not it's not a small area but what i'm saying though is if if this rumor is right they're building a video game exclusive theme park that was just a much bigger area for nintendo to go into well, it would um, be, yeah. I mean... So that, that might be a little bit weird if if they do actually have a much bigger Nintendo presence at the third theme park. I don't know. Maybe I'm over maybe I'm over estimating how much they would actually use. Maybe they would be similar size Nintendo lands. That actually would make sense. Well, one of the things that seems weird to me is, like, we could be on the Mario ride, and off in the distance we could see a Halo ride. That would be strange. <laughs> would Nintendo be cool with that? Like, because Nintendo's pretty protective of, you know, that kind of stuff. Would they be like, well... We don't want other. We don't want our competition to be across from us or something like that. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe. I, but that's. I mean, that's no different than any any amount of movie properties, right? That's already in the parks. Well, Universal owns most of them. No, yeah, not anymore. Never mind. I was. My head was in the '90s. No, Universal yeah. doesn't really own anything in the parks these days. <laughs> yeah, they're licensing a lot of things these days. Yeah. I, I, I guess maybe if as long as it's like oh this is clearly the Nintendo section and this is clearly the World of Warcraft section stuff like that and they're not like right. mixed together then it could be fine and I don't know why they wouldn't mix them together that'd be really stupid I mean I think they'll probably handle like they like they do now right yeah. like with, like look at Harry Potter where that is pretty much its own self-contained world within a you know within the theme park itself I mean they even call it like a park within the park mm -hmm. so I have a feeling they'll do this right uh, no matter what ends up happening. But I am actually really excited at the prospect of there being a theme park dedicated to this. Because that will give them almost, you know, like, infinite potential for expansion and adding more properties. Like, I mean, because it's a bit, it's pretty much assumed if they are building within Kid Zone or whatever, we'll get the core Nintendo properties, right? We'll get Mario Kart, we'll get Pokemon, we'll get Zelda. That makes sense. Um, but I'm more excited, or, you know, maybe not more excited, but I'm excited about what other Nintendo properties we could see. And the only way that's going to happen is if they have the room for it. Yeah, I mean, it. the more we can get, the better. I mean, I obviously do feel that way, but then there is that question of, like... How long is this gonna take? It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit weird if like if we're in our forties. Yeah, I don't want I want to be able to like opening. I don't want to be in a wheelchair when I finally can go get this. Like I want to be able to enjoy this as a youthful man. Right. Like my my ideal situation has always been like a a Nintendo exclusive theme park, and that gets us one step closer to that, right? So, but whatever. I mean, no matter how this happens, I'm excited for it. Hmm. But the bigger the better is how I'm going on this. And you don't really mind. 
waiting longer for it? Not, I mean, considering I never thought this had a chance of hell happening at all, <laughs> um, I don't mind waiting a little bit longer for it to be perfected. Um, I just think it makes the most sense to have it all contained in one in one themed area, though. Mm -hmm. It's I'm curious if Universal still has this feeling that they did in like 2012, where they can get people to buy the two park pass because they separate the properties. Because like Harry Potter was originally an Islands of Adventure, they closed Jaws and put Harry Potter over there, and that right. actually didn't go over as well as they had hoped from everything that I've heard. Like, there's a lot of people that that haven't actually gone to both parks because of it. So I don't know if they would continue to do that and move that philosophy forward, because they actually, like, after the London side of Harry Potter opened, like, a month later, they laid off over half the people that they thought they were going to need for that area. So I'm curious if they're still thinking, oh, we could put Nintendo in more than one park, because that works. Well, really? oh, I haven't heard of that. I'm actually... Was that confirmed that they laid off half the people? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know people that worked there. They didn't lay. They didn't necessarily lay them off, but they repositioned them to different areas of the park because they didn't. Hmm. They weren't needed in the London side because they. I'm, because I'm it, surprised that that's the case because Harry Potter was a huge draw over Islands of Adventure. So originally, know, yeah, but I guess maybe it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, you did this already. Yeah, I mean that could be. It could be too much overexposure. Um, I don't, I mean, so here's the thing with Nintendo, right? Like, Harry Potter's one franchise. Nintendo itself isn't really a franchise. They have tons of franchises. It's a world, Andre! It is, that's right! <laughs> um, so, I mean, they would just distribute it based on the properties, I would think. So you could have, like, Mario over in the kid zone. What if they did that? Different... What if, like, they started it with just Mario, and they're like, this is Mario, and we're announcing that we're making another park, and that's gonna have more Nintendo stuff. Would you be cooler with that? I mean, that makes sense, right? Like, that kind of makes sense, because they're all different properties. Mm -hmm. So I can see that working. Um, I mean, I think I still think it'd be, like, optimal if they're all self-contained in one park. But if they want to spread it out like that, I mean, the more the merrier, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't really care how they do this. As long as I get my Nintendo rides, uh, I'm okay with whatever ends up happening. But the more, I mean, just the bigger the better on this. And I think it'd be, I mean, I'm actually just excited the prospect of them opening a third park. Like, that would turn them into a true destination, like, even more so than they are now. They would have, they would then have three theme parks, plus the brand new water park they're opening called Volcano Bay. Um, that would put them on, like, a really competitive level with Disney World. And the more competition Disney World has, the better Disney World's going to be, too. So, mm -hmm. right. I, this is all good news to me, and this rumor is, this rumor is accurate. Is this a source that has been accurate in the past? I have no idea. I really don't know. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so, it may not be. This could be nothing at all. But uh, listen, as we said before, any time something pops up with this theme park thing, we're going to talk about it. So everything's worth exactly, talking Exactly, right? I mean, I, I think it makes sense, though, for Universal to be looking at a third park. Like, they've been... I mean, that was their original plan all along. That's why they had, they had, that's why they had all that land originally. Mm -hmm. um, and rumor has it that they have been reacquiring land. Um, and we already know they're looking at opening a bunch of hotels, too. So, I think it makes sense. I mean, I think it's logical for them to do this. They need to expand. They are running out of land in which to work with. Um, and opening a theme, you know, a good a third theme park, I think, just makes logical sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for Universal having more land so that they don't have to destroy stuff in order to right. make new <laughs> stuff. Trust me. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, my only complaint about this is, oh, gosh, is this going to take a lot longer than just putting something in the parks that exist now? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that that is the question, right? So we'll see. I mean, hopefully we'll get news about this, you know, within the next year or so, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. I know that they have already filed for, like, demolition for this year in that kid zone area. Oh, have they? Yeah. There's, like, they, you know how they, obviously Universal has to file things for destroying stuff and building right. stuff. And that's already been done. So I guess if Nintendo is not going there, I wonder what would be going there. Yeah, I, I mean, I, well, they are... So there was that rumor too that they are bringing over Fast and Furious from, uh, or a Fast and Furious attraction. They just they just opened up one in Hollywood. Right? Isn't that going where Twister's going though? Because I know Twister. This is like Twister's last season, and then that's getting destroyed. I thought that the rumors were that's where that could be. But Twister's a super small footprint, isn't it? So I don't know yeah, how yeah. much they could do with that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, who knows? I mean, Universal like. I, I think that's where Nintendo's going. A little small <laughs> building. <laughs> that's what so we're all sad. hyped about. Just like a little arcade, just going to play Donkey Kong. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, the more the more news I'm hearing, though, the more excited I'm getting. And I would be thrilled at the prospect of them opening up a third park with even more Nintendo stuff. So if they want to spread out among parks. I'm fine with that. Whatever. 
Um, I mean, that really is the best of both worlds, right? We get Nintendo soon, then we get more Nintendo down the line. So. That's what I'd prefer. Yeah, that would be the ideal situation. I also hope that there's, like, easy transport to all three parks. I don't want it to be like, oh, well, okay, well, now we gotta get in the car and leave and get on I-4 and drive <laughs> to the next park. Yeah, that would kind of uh, break the immersion a little bit, right? Right, so I, hopefully the, the, the third park is built within proximity, you know, to where you could walk or take a shuttle or a boat to it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Captain's boat will transport oh, you to the next park. Oh, there you go. Little sea chanties on the way. Yeah, you would think they'd have to do something with Animal Crossing, right? Like At least a cafe like Brewster's where you can get a bunch of like gift shop related merchandise. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Josh, do we have final thoughts at all on this, or do we cover it pretty much? I, yeah, I mean, I think we pretty much covered it. It's cool. I think we both agree that this would be amazing to have a third park dedicated to video games. Nintendo would obviously have a huge footprint there, but I think we both agree, oh my god, we want this to begin as soon as possible. What did they announce that they've already been working on all this time? It's going to open up... It's been hidden behind bushes. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that wraps up for us here. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, Josh, do you want to tell everyone where they can find you at? Sure. They can find me at the BitBlock on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, pretty much anywhere on the internet. Sounds good. Thanks, Josh. And, of course, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well at Game Explain, and there are links to them in the description below. And, of course, keep an eye on Game Explain for more on Nintendo's theme park and other things gaming as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.